July 20th, 2020 marks the 21st anniversary of Falun Gong practitioners' peaceful resistance to the persecution in mainland China. Despite the new national security law that aims to further crack down on democracy and freedom in Hong Kong, Falun Gong practitioners have continued raising awareness of the persecution on the streets. Large banners with messages such as, Heaven will destroy the CCP, Stop persecuting Falun Gong, and Falun Dafa is good, have accompanied Hong Kong Falun Gong practitioners at tourist sites for many years. The perseverance didn't come without deterrence, however. Four Falun Gong practitioners were arrested on July 1st, the first day the national security law became effective. One of them, Ah Duan, was threatened by a Hong Kong policeman with extradition to the mainland and organ harvesting when she was detained at the North Point police station. Ah Duan said she bursted into tears and questioned, How many people did you send back to the mainland for organ harvesting? How many times have you participated? Have you done it? Admit it if you have. Don't wear a mask because I will remember you and I will tell the entire world what you've done. Do you all agree with what he just said? Organ harvesting is such an evil act. The four practitioners were released on bail but will need to check in with the police station for the next month. They are concerned that their future activities may be affected. Meanwhile, Falun Gong practitioners' street sites have been disturbed multiple times. Someone ripped up a Heaven Will Destroy the CCP banner. Pro-CCP organizations have been complaining to the police that Falun Gong practitioners' banners violate the new national security law. Policemen visit some sites and took down some practitioners' personal identification. Some policemen asked that the Heaven Will Destroy the CCP banner be taken down. Mr. Hong shares that he thinks the national security law is very evil. I would be lying if I say that I'm totally unafraid, but it's something I have to do despite my fear. Our mission is to help people know the facts. Therefore, after discussions among ourselves, we remained calm and decided to carry on. Mr. Hong believes that heaven will inevitably destroy the CCP. In his view, Hong Kongers need to know the truth and know the evil of the persecution of Falun Gong so they can make the choice to quit the CCP for their own safety. Calvin Ho, Vice President of ADPL, or Hong Kong Association for Democracy and People's Livelihood, participated in the 2020 Hong Kong pro-democracy primaries. He and his team were on the streets saying thanks to the voters on July 15th. Regarding Falun Gong practitioners who have been resisting the persecution for 21 years, the ADPL said that they would like to learn from Falun Gong. According to Ho, the most important revelation to Hong Kong people is, don't be afraid of this totalitarianism. Just look at Falun Gong. They have persisted for 21 years and there is no problem, so we should all learn from Falun Gong. We must continue to resist tyranny and totalitarianism. Ho said that he had received Falun Gong leaflets on the street as early as his student days and had read different positive and negative reports about Falun Gong. When everyone understands this fact, you know that Falun Gong practitioners have been telling the truth, whether it's the CCP giving up China's territory or the natural and man-made disasters in China. But the CCP doesn't want to lose face and keeps lying. Ever since Liang Chun Ying was appointed as the chief executive in 2012, a communist front group, Hong Kong Youth Care Association, has often harassed Falun Gong practitioners. But the practitioners weren't deterred and continued their efforts in raising public awareness of the persecution. Ho said, We can see that the CCP isn't so powerful. Falun Gong still resists firmly after so many years. I think this spirit is actually worth learning by all of us in Hong Kong. In the face of totalitarianism and suppression, we will not give up and we must continue to persevere. District Councilor Lee Hunting Howard also said that Falun Gong practitioners have always adhered to their beliefs in the past 21 years and have become a model of Hong Kong society. Even facing the threat of the national security law, we see that Falun Gong street sites are still there. It is precisely for us in Hong Kong to follow this example and fight without fear for the long term. Lee also said that Falun Gong practitioners have demanded to bring the main culprits to justice and have gained a lot of traction in the international society. He hopes that Europe and the United States will sanction those who persecute Falun Gong practitioners.